write like a man. Use a typewriter. Um, you know, uh, I have a book here that I'm sure you guys know. It's by Ryan Holiday called Perennial Seller. I have heard of that. And yeah. uh, apparently Ryan Holiday had or has a company that sort of does editing for people. You know, and he was huh. talking about working with James Altucher and other people and how as writers, you know, where his yeah. company would send them back to the drawing board and stuff. I don't know if he still does that, but uh, and I know that there are bunches of of uh, websites that you can go to where um, that are sort of clearing houses for editors and designers and cover designers and so on and so forth because a lot of i guess editors that worked for big five publishing companies now are working remotely or they're working on their own mm, right oh, really? i just okay. well do some freelance so yeah. um that's another source for anybody that's looking for it obviously you have to pay them yeah sure, of course oh, yeah. The right person there are a lot of people that do this freelance We've had good luck, at least with our covers, uh, with using MyBlart, M I B L A R T, mm -hmm. for covers. Yeah, for covers. Yeah, they've mm -hmm. uh, very reasonably priced. Uh, Last really? time, yeah, yeah, uh, they did my fifth one, um, uh, my fifth Heavenly Realms novel, Wayfarers, and they they exceeded my expectations for. I mean, a very, very modest. I think what, like four hundred dollars for yeah, a cover? something wow. like between yeah, four between four and five hundred, which is really surprising. The quality of work they do for that amount, because in yeah, self publishing, wow. it you really do get what you pay for. Yeah. And when you look at a self published book, typically you can identify that it's self published. Yeah, yeah. because <laughs> a lot of them are do it yourselfers, and uh, there are some parts of the process. I think you shouldn't do yourself. You should, yeah. you should pony Absolutely. up the dough and get yeah. someone to do it for you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, I think there was a website you had mentioned last time about, uh, editors. That was a pretty good one to fall back on. I'll, uh, if, if you don't remember it off the top of your head, I'll post, uh, or I'll give a link and we'll post it. Maybe below. it's Sean's thing. Storygrid.com. That does sound familiar. Storygrid.com. Yeah. Storygrid I think that, .com. what okay. Sean I think has done is uh he's my my editor and you know my business partner and he has evolved i guess he's been an editor for maybe 30 years now wow and he has evolved his own system and believe me this system is like nuclear physics <laughs> it's so complicated you know the human mind cannot grasp it you know but it's um but he has taught it's called he calls it the story grid and he used yeah. to say, let me put the grid on your work, you know, and he yeah. used to terrify me, you know, but, um, <laughs> but he has taught this to a bunch of young editors. He has like a whole kind of school. So mm, cool. if you're looking for an editor, they have a, if you go to storygrid.com, they have a little uh, tab at the bottom, at the top of the screen, it says editing services, and you can find an editor and hire them. Oh, so that's, so that's cool. a really interesting thing. That's Man. such good information. And folks... There you have it. I mean, <laughs> I know, just right? that alone. <laughs> yeah, that alone is solid. That's so solid much. gold. Thank you for so sharing that, Steve. Thank you.